No one was a more reluctant student than me. I couldn't stand playing the violin when I was younger, but I'm really glad my parents didn't listen to me. Once a reluctant toddler learning to play the violin, Christian Robinson is now a member of Juno-nominated Silver Birch String Quartet, providing tunes for tots at libraries around Vancouver Island. Playing for kids is something we love to do. Uh, education and outreach is a big part of, of who we are as a quartet, trying to foster the next generation of music lovers. And uh, it's part of keeping our art form vital and vibrant. So we have a wonderful time doing it. Horse tail, exactly right. Yes, yeah, it's made of it's made of horse hair. And so, so I'm seeing a lot of concerned looks in the audience. But it's just like getting a haircut. It doesn't hurt the horse at all. And in fact, I see a couple of people here that have some nice long hair. Maybe you'd like to have your hair cut off and put on a bow. Uh, I think more and more organizations are seeing the importance of reaching of reaching that generation, who are very open-minded and wonderfully enthusiastic about, about, about the arts and music and are much more open-minded than a lot of uh, older audience members, in fact. Now I see you, said Sam. How did you do that? The musical journey includes an enhanced reading of the children's book, Stella, Fairy of the Forest. It's lovely because it adds an extra flavor to the story that really, really brings the kids in and excites their imaginations, and mine as well. It plays really, really nicely, and it exposes uh, the children, and for that matter, parents, to the cross mediums of storytelling as well as music. Uh, and it's a great, great companion hand in hand. One of the rocks is moving. It was magical. I just about cried the, the first the first couple moments just totally took my breath away. The kids loved it too. They've never sat quiet for that long in their lives. <laughs> it was amazing. Well, I just think that I can't expect my four children to appreciate music if they don't get a chance to hear it. And seeing it live is really neat and being able to uh, talk to the, uh, to the musicians themselves and find out about their experience and when they started and how long they played. and and just to hear lots of different kinds of music that is played on the radio. I thought it was a great pre presentation because they, uh, they did such a good job of, of talking about the instruments but keeping it interesting with, with the music at all times. So, yeah. Um, I, a lot of kids don't know that much about the basics about music, so it was, it was a really good performance. For more information about the Summer Reading Club and for programs like this one, you can visit the website. In Campbell River for The Daily, I'm Marjorie Greaves.